Hey there, thank you so much for ordering from me. So today I'm going to talk to you about what you need to do now that you got started with ketones. So the first thing you wanna do is do intermittent fasting. What that means is that you are not going to have breakfast, you are only going to have lunch and dinner. So the first thing you wanna do is drink a bottle of water, 10 to 16 ounces, and then you're going to get 16 ounce bottle and you're gonna put ketones in it. The way I do it is I get a shaker bottle, I put 16 ounces of water, add ice, then I add in my ketones, shake it up and drink it within an hour. This is gonna put you in instant ketosis. The next thing you're going to do is in the morning you wanna drink your Mitoplex. You wanna drink it with a shot of water, like a little bit of water, maybe this much water. You're gonna put in your Mitoplex, mix it up with a spoon or whatever. You're gonna go ahead and take it as a shot. The Mitoplex is going to feed your mitochondria. It is also gonna keep you eat with your electrolytes the entire day. You're gonna feel great. And if you're not used to fasting and stuff like that, this is gonna prevent you from getting jittery, lightheaded, dizzy, and stuff like that. All right, you have to now stay hydrated. It is so important to drink half of your body weight in ounces or try to drink at least two liters of water a day. That's what I do. So just kind of average out. So let's say five bottles of water a day should be okay. But if you're only drinking one or two bottles of water a day, it is not enough. It is absolutely not enough. So you have to stay hydrated. The next thing is if for any reason, TMI, you have diarrhea, or you feel it's mostly just diarrhea is the only side effect that you may have if you for any reason have diarrhea the thing you want to do is have some himalayan salt and some water you want to mix it up and drink that and you'll feel so much better if you do feel that you feel sick in the stomach it's because you're lacking electrolytes but 90 percent of my clients including myself when this first happened to me the himalayan salt will absolutely help you and you're going to see a difference so i want to make sure now that you're starting your ketones you have measured yourself you have weighed yourself you see those skinny jeans you want to fit into again and you're going to take pictures before and after pictures you want to take a picture in the front the side and your back you're going to start seeing results you're going to get excited and i'm here for you every step of the way so let's talk some meals and snacks i have clients who do breakfast and lunch and no dinner or lunch and dinner and no breakfast. I personally do no breakfast and I do lunch and dinner. So for the morning time, I have my keto cream, which has lots of collagen in it, and it's so, so good. So I usually have coffee, a little sweetener, my um, heavy whipping cream, and the keto cream, half a packet, and then I mix it up with my frother and I drink that in the morning. Then I do my bottle, I continue to drink my bottle of water, and then I go ahead and drink my ketones, go from there. It's very important that you do a 16 hour fast. You wanna download an app, it's called MyFast. And with that application, it's going to calculate your 16 hour fast. So maybe you wanna do two days a week, 20 hour fast and the rest 16 hour fast. It's very important that you do this. It's also going to help you reset your metabolism. You can start off your day with a soup or a salad, um, have your protein and your vegetables. You don't have to do strict keto, but it's very important if you do low carb. You can get recipes on Pinterest. You can go to Instagram, hashtag keto bites, keto meals. You're gonna see a lot of things there if you wanna do keto. Um, I personally don't do keto. I personally do lazy keto, so I do have carbs every now and then. Um, but there's so many different recipes. Now, if you want a snack, you can have string cheese, you can have almonds, um, you can have any berries that you want. Um, the best nuts to have are almonds and walnuts. You don't want to really have too much peanuts or cashews.